Now, while WooCommerce is a great solution to building an online store, it can leave a lot to be desired when it comes to customizing the look and feel. So this is where third-party plugins like Shop Engine and Jet Wool Builder can really help out. Today, I'm going to provide you with several recommendations for both free and premium plugins to help take your WooCommerce designs to the next level. Now, I can probably hear you now, you're thinking to yourself, but Paul, you have affiliate links for all of these plugins, and you would be right. So go buy all three and I can live my lifelong dream to retire to the south of France, buy a farm and race donkeys while sipping vino. Okay, all joking aside, if you have zero budget, you can use Shop Engine and get a lot of control over your designs. If you want more, then the other premium plugins that I'll recommend may be a perfect solution. Oh, did I mention that two of these also offer free versions with lots of useful features included? No, didn't think I did, but I have now. So let's start with the newest member of the party, Shop Engine. Now, at the time of releasing this video, it only has a free version, but I'm reliably informed that the premium version is in the works. Now, I've already released a couple of videos on Shop Engine covering some of the key features that let you customize the likes of the shopping cart page, the checkout page, and much more. Now, there are links in the description if you want to check out those previous videos. So, you may be asking yourself, what's the like about Shop Engine? Well, the price for starters, it's free. Okay, great, Paul, it's free, but what does it matter if it, well, basically sucks? Well, to be honest, it doesn't suck, and that's for sure. It gives you control over pretty much every part of your WooCommerce store, as well as adding in product swatch variations, product quick view, wish list, product comparisons, and Ajax filtering. Those features alone should put this plugin on your radar if you're looking to customize a WooCommerce store. Now, you do need Elementor to be able to work with the shop engine, but that goes for each of the plugins that I'm gonna cover in this video. Now, the good news is that you can use the free version of Elementor and not add any more cost onto your tally if you go for the premium versions of these plugins, obviously Shop Engine excluded. Now, it's also incredibly easy to get started using Shop Engine, especially if you're familiar with Elementor. You can easily manage all the key front-end pages along with the My Account page of your store. Now, this makes it a great choice if you want to create a unique and unified design for your entire shop. Now I'm curious to see what comes in the premium version once that gets released, as the free version has so much included. Now you may be thinking this could be one of those bait and switch scenarios where the free version is just too powerful to get people into using it and then the premium version puts some of those currently free features behind a paywall. Well I kind of thought that might be the case as well, but rest assured that this isn't going to happen. I've spoken to the developer and raised that very point and was assured that this isn't going to happen all free features will stay free, which I think is great news. The price, it's free. The sheer number of features that it includes. The inclusion of features like wish lists, swatch variations, etc. And this removes the need for some additional plugins. The template interface is a bit buggy, missing design templates and things like that. It doesn't always respect the themes layout. And this can cause some problems. More templates to help users to get started. We could do with some of those. There's no granular control over the templates. You get one choice and you can't use different designs for different categories, product types, etc. Other than that, there's not much else to not like. I'm gonna give this one six out of 10. It's a great starting point and scope to be a solid option for customizing WooCommerce if you're on a budget. If you have a Crocoblock account, you probably have access to JetWool Builder. This is Crocoblock's plugin that allows you to manage pretty much every aspect of your WooCommerce design. In the same way, all the plugins covered here today, you can manage the look and the feel of your store using it. But unlike Shop Engine, you don't have extra features like swatch variations and wish lists. They are possible, but you'll need to be using Jet Engine, which is another plugin that forms part of the Crocoblock suite of tools. If you don't need this type of functionality, then it's neither here nor there. But if you do, you will need to budget for those additional plugins to manage that feature. Now, JetWool Builder also provides full control over both the design of each of the WooCommerce pages, as well as where and when you can use them. At first, it can feel a little long-winded to set things up, but once you get used to the process, it is pretty painless, but it could be a little bit more streamlined in my opinion. For example, using Shop Engine, when you create a template, you can choose to set that as the default template as opposed to JetWool Builder that requires you to create the template and then go into another part of the admin to set it as the template to be used for that particular section. For example, the checkout or cart pages. 
However, that little niggle aside, Jet Wool Builder is certainly a more polished plugin with a much bigger development and support system behind it. For some, that well may be a major selling point and a reason to jump on board with Jet Wool Builder. It's an established product with good support and community. It's easy to use with a good amount of options. It respects the theme layout and design. You can easily create multiple template layouts and assign them on a per product basis. Great for more advanced designs. There's an annoying method of setting the templates up to be used. Apart from that, there's not much else that I don't like. Now my score for this one, I'm gonna give this eight out of 10. It's a solid plugin for customizing your WooCommerce store with a great established history and company behind it. Now next on our list is Woolentor from HasThemes. Woolentor is another WooCommerce plugin that has a free and a premium version, which lets you try before you buy and includes several really useful widgets. For example, the free version lets you customize various different pages of your WooCommerce website with relative ease. Now, while some of the features in the free version are more basic, there sadly isn't an option to edit or create unique designs for either the cart or the checkout pages. Now, while this isn't a deal breaker, WC Designer, or formerly Woolentor, lets us build a custom cart page. Checkout pages and customization for that are still limited to the pro version. Now, you can't really knock points off for of that as the developers do deserve a return on the investment for building and maintaining the plugin. But it would have been nice to have access to this in even just a basic version. If you dig into the settings for Woolentor, you'll find several useful options available to you. For example, you have a style section where you can choose the default colors for the main components of your WooCommerce layouts. Useful, but I'm not sure how important this would be if you have Elementor and using the global styling system. You do also get vertical and horizontal filtering for your shop. And this is something that Jet Wool Builder doesn't include. If you need filtering, you'll need to use something like Jet Smart Filters, also from Crocoblock. Now, Hasteams has certainly put a lot of effort into providing documentation and video tutorials for getting the most out of Ulento, which is great. Some areas of the written documentation could do with just a little expansion, but the main topics are covered in enough detail to get you up and running fairly quickly. You also have access to technical support should you need it. Now, if you're looking for a quick start to building the key WooCommerce pages or just want a bit of inspiration, Woolento Pro includes a decent collection of pre-built templates you can load in and edit if needed to fit your site. Now, these include a good selection of homepage designs, shop pages, product pages, and much more. However, the card and checkout templates are just a little bit lacking in imagination, and I would like to see a couple more options here over the single design for each of these key pages, just to give us a little bit more creative option and some inspiration from how these could look. Now, various widgets let you choose your own design or allow you to inherit the theme style and layout. There's a good selection of starting template designs, there's a lot of included options to customize your online store, including things like multi-step checkout, sales notification banners, and loads more. There's the ability to enable and disable any of the widgets you don't need to just streamline the interface and speed things up. Things I don't like. Now, some of the widgets don't inherit the theme style and layout. Setting templates of various parts of your store could just be a little bit more obvious to make things easier. The plugin setting section could be a little bit more polished as it just looks a little bit amateur at the moment. There's a lack of templates for key checkout and cart pages, things like that, including I'd like to see multi-step designs here. The need for a free and premium plugins to be installed is something I don't really like. We're going to give this 7 out of 10. It's a solid, well-featured plugin that could do with a little bit of polish and some more obvious structure for setting templates. Now to avoid any confusion, Woolamento has recently renamed the plugin to WC Designer. It is the same plugin, just with a new name. It still offers a pretty well spec free version in conjunction with the premium version. And I do like the fact that the free version lets you customize the cart page. This is super useful. And if that's all you need, you can easily just use the free version and be done with it. Now I've covered various aspects of both Woolento and WC Designer in different videos, and both plugins do share a lot of similarities alongside both JetWool Builder and Shop Engine, which is to be expected from these types of plugins. Now where WC Designer differs from Woolento is in its handling of template creation. There's a bit of a mishmash of ways to handle templates here. Some are managed via the Save Template section of Elemental, which feels kind of logical, but then for some of the other templates, like the cart and checkout page, you need to go into WooCommerce's advanced settings and set them there. 
Now for me, I would just prefer one location for handling all of the template files to reduce the confusion that can arise from jumping around all over the place. Now a key component of a plugin with this many options is the documentation and tutorials on how to use them all. Now while WC Designer has a help section with an FAQ, video tutorials and support, it does feel just a little bit sparse. You do get more information if you click on the relevant FAQ and then follow the link to the main site's help section, but I do think this could be made just a little clearer and some key information is either missing or just not that easy to find. So for example, where and how do you set the custom cart or checkout pages to be used instead of the default WordPress ones? This really did lead to some confusion, head scratching and frustration when working through the process of customizing things in my testing. Now WC Designer differs from Wulento in that it uses pre-designed widgets instead of full page designs. Now this is okay, but it does feel just a little limiting as the customization options are fairly minimal for each one. I'd also prefer to see just one widget with a select list to choose the design as opposed to, well, widgets for each of the different designs. This just adds clutter to the already pretty busy Elemental interface. Sure, you can disable the various widgets from the settings panel, so there is an option to streamline things, but I would just like to see this being dealt with in just using the method I suggested with a select list. I just think it would be more elegant and a little bit more intuitive. Custom query options for each of the pre-built listings. Filtering options are included, both horizontal and vertical. Plenty of options to choose from. The ability to create your own template files for key WooCommerce pages. Now, the pre-built designs are really not that usable and they do feel just a little bit amateur. There's an inconsistent approach to setting templates. The help documentation does need a lot more information. There's also a confusing method for using your custom templates for certain key pages. For this, I'm gonna give it six out of 10. There's a lot to like about WC Designer, but I do feel that the plugin is just let down by the confusing way in which it deals with the templates. Some of the pre-built designs are a little poor and the documentation really needs to be fleshed out to be truly useful for most users. Now, while all the plugins here today offer a solid way to manage and customize your WooCommerce shop designs, my top slot would have to go to Jet Builder as it's the most polished of all of the four plugins. It is a shame that the filtering isn't included, so I have had to knock a point off for that omission. The second slot though, that goes to Shop Engine, primarily because it is so feature rich and absolutely free. If it was a premium plugin, then I think the niggles that I outlined would be more problematic, but they can be overlooked somewhat due to the lack of a price tag being attached to this particular add-on. While WC Designer, or formerly Woolamento, and Woolento are very close. I have to tip the scales in favor of Woolento, primarily for the confusing template setup and lack of real documentation inside WC Designer right now. Now that's my take on these tools for customizing e-commerce websites using WooCommerce. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section if you've tried any or all of these add-ons and what your experience was using them. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.